A lot of the patients that I see come in with, first of all, they've had insomnia for many, many years, and many of them are, are kind of resigned to the fact that they've had this problem for a long time and there's nothing that they could do about it. They say, I've read all the books, I've taken all the medications, what could you offer me that's different? And over time, it's not a, a fast process by any stretch, but after weekly or every other week uh, meetings with the patient, they start to see that uh, quality of, their quality of sleep starts to improve um, as they start paying more attention and implementing strategies uh, before bed when they wake up, and they learn how to sleep better. So behavioral sleep medicine refers to the behavioral and psychological aspects of sleep disorders. We work with people with insomnia, sleep apnea, circadian rhythm problems, and we're really offering either additional or alternative options to help their sleep problem. One of my patients has actually commented that, um, you know, he's had, he struggled with insomnia for, for many years and he would always kind of look at his, his spouse and, and, and talk about how excited his spouse was to, to go to sleep because it was such a rewarding and um, restorative process for his spouse. Uh, but for him, he struggled with insomnia and dreading the process of going to bed. Oh, here comes another night, it's just gonna be the same old struggle to sleep. So that description is very important for someone like myself to understand because there is a thought process that happens for people with insomnia where they become frustrated with the whole experience of insomnia. So we work with them to change the way they think about sleep so that they no longer dread the experience but perhaps even look forward to it. So it's really changing the way that the patient thinks about sleep.